Hi, um, I'm here with Mitch Resnick, and he just finished his TEDx talk here. Um, it was about the t kindergarten approach for learning, and I was hoping you could elaborate a little more on that. Yeah. Um, I think in our work, we've always been inspired by the way children learn in kindergarten, where they're you know, playfully creating things in collaboration with one another. And we think that really prepares kids for life in today's world, because they develop as creative thinkers as they're creating things in kindergarten. So in our work, we're trying to see how can we take that kindergarten approach where kids are experimenting, exploring, expressing themselves, designing, creating, and bring it to learners of all ages. Because we think it's so important for kids to develop as creative thinkers to really be able to you know, flourish in today's society. Thank you, Mitch. Now, I know one result of your team's work has been the Scratch uh, programming language and website. Um, could you elaborate on that and kind of speak to where it's going? Yeah. So, well, Scratch is a programming language and online community. In fact, we launched 10 years ago. This is the 10th anniversary of Scratch. Congrats. And it's now used by millions and millions of kids around the world. It's like every day there's you know, like 30,000 new projects shared on the Scratch community by kids around the world. And we really do see Scratch as a way of extending the kindergarten approach. When we talk about the kindergarten approach, we talk about the four Ps of creative learning, projects, passion, peers, and play. And that really guided us as we, as, as we developed Scratch and continue to enhance Scratch. We developed it around providing kids with opportunities to create their own projects on the computer based on their passions in collaboration with peers in a playful spirit. Um, and we continue to see how we can continue to add new features. We're, right now we're working on the next generation of Scratch. They'll open up even more ways for kids to design and create, doing more things to connect Scratch to other objects in the world so they can connect Scratch to sensors and robots in the world or connect them to, to, to web services online and data online. So we really want to see Scratch as a hub where kids can create things in all different media and bring it to life. I found the Scratch website to be very interesting because it works with object-based coding and it allows you to work at, let's say, first grade level, kindergarten level, to much higher and gives you the opportunity to do more. Yeah. Uh. Well, we try to take seriously the metaphor with writing, that you know, kids write in the same language as adults you know, write in. Uh, and we don't teach kids writing you know, just because they might become professional writers. We think everybody should learn to write to be able to express their ideas. And we see coding the same way. It's something that should be for everybody not just people that will grow up to become professional programmers or computer scientists, but as a way for everybody to be able to express themselves. One thing I found very interesting about the Scratch website is it's not just you building a project for yourself. You have the opportunity to share with the community. No. So. Yeah, and we launched the community at the same time as we launched the programming language to, with those uh, four Ps of creative learning. The peers were very important to us. Yes. We, we, we knew it would be important for kids to learn with and from their peers that with the Scratch Online community, it provides both inspiration and audience. The kids can go and see millions of projects where they can get ideas uh, for their project. And once they create their own project and they share it, there's an audience, so other people give them feedback and suggestions and encouragement. Uh, so we really think having kids create things in the context of a community is really important. Just to tie it back to TEDx, uh, this Scratch allows you to have ideas worth sharing. Yeah. And um, I was curious how you got involved with TEDx. Uh, uh, actually, it was, uh, I did give a TEDx presentation, I think it was five years ago. Yes. Uh, it was the first one. And it was through connections with John Werner, and mm -hmm. he suggested that I uh, give it. And it seemed like a great way to start sharing our ideas you know, with a wider range of people. You know, we really care deeply about the things we're working on. Uh, and we can share some of those ideas through the tools we create, like Scratch. But we were always looking for other ways to share our ideas. So it's great to be able to share it with the TEDx and TED communities to be able to reach out and not just share the technologies, but the ideas underlying the technologies. Uh, going to open it up to the table. Was there anything that you wanted to share that you didn't have the opportunity in the conversation earlier? Well, May, one thing I'd mention is I recently came out with a book that's called Lifelong Kindergarten. So many of the ideas that I talked about you know, in, my, in, the, in the talk today, mm -hmm. uh, I go into in greater detail in the book. It's called Lifelong Kindergarten, Cultivating Creativity Through Projects, Passion, Peers, and Play. 
So if people are interested in the talk and want to find out more and get more examples and more ideas underlying the, what I talked about, I hope they'll take a look at the book. Thank you, Mitch, for taking the time to meet with us and give a wonderful presentation. Great. So. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you.